Hi everyone, this is Raju Mathu and uh, on my last videos uh, I have shown you how can we add a table view on a screen and also uh, on click of adding, adding a click event to the table view like on click of this rows uh, this will show you some uh, alert message like hi I am row number 4 on click of row number 7 it's showing a uh, alert message like how uh, hi I am row number seven. So basically, uh, I have described you about the table view and the table on click event of table view. So let's uh, discuss about section on table view. Like if I want to add a section for four first four rows and then a section for l uh, remaining of these rows. So how can we do that on Titanium using alert framework for iOS. So let's code for that. So I have already added the alloy tag and the window which will have the table. Now add the table view as we have already seen on the last videos. So this is the table view now. Before adding rows, we need to add the section. So under those section, we will add the table views, uh, table row. So le uh, let's add the table section. So to add the table section, Titanium also provides the API uh, that is table header section, table view section. So this is the table view section and the section uh, for defining a section we need to also uh, we can also define the section header title so like section let's define the header title uh, so for that also we have the property called header title and let's define it section 1 So this is the section one. Now under this section, now let's define the rows. So for that table view row, and for the displaying the row data, we will have tit title. So let's add the row tags like row one. And I'm going to add multiple rows for this same. Sorry, for the same section. So let's rename the rows. Now let's add multiple section. section 1 so let's add two or three more section so let's make it section 2 so it will be visible clearly on the screen how can uh, the scrolling effect also we can see here so it will uh, give you an idea how this section is going to be work so rename this Things also rows of text also. So let's so let's make it bigger. Uh, now let's run it. So we will have the section. Let's run it on simulator. So we will have the section 1, section 2, section 3 and section 4, 4 section will be displayed on the screen and under those sections we will uh, have the rows, different rows. So let's see on the simulator how it looks. So it takes some time. And uh, we can also add the click event uh, here uh, on top of the table view tag. 
with the table view tag we can also define the on click event so that we can access uh, we can do some job on click of any of the rows that were selected or we can also add the sec click event on the section or individually we can add the event on click event on the rows so here it comes so here look here these are the sections that I have defined section 1 section 2 and on scrolling up the section 3 section 4 so this so by this way we can also define the section and under the section we can also define the rows different rows so this is the one of the scenario like there might be a scenario where you can also alphabetically uh, make the section like for um, characters start with A we, we can display the rows that are starting with A like the character uh, the rows start with B we can also define this uh, as a section B so by this way we can uh, for different conditions uh, depending on the situation or the scenario we can use this table view section to distribute the rows to different section so this is what uh, it uh, was looking it's looking uh, we can also here you can see that if I come to the section 3 and if I scroll up now here you can see that the uh, at the end of this section 2 the section 2 header goes up and the section 3 uh, header gets the top position so this is the one of the features of uh, iOS and also that was uh, provided by the titanium uh, APIs which will uh, which allows us to make this uh, functionality or these features so that's it